Former All Black Jerry Collins and his wife Elena Audiel have died in a car crash in France, with their daughter in a critical condition in hospital. Reports in France say a bus was in collision with the couple's car in the early hours of Friday. Collins, 34, made his debut for New Zealand in 2001 and won 48 caps. The ex Osprey's flanker had been playing for French side Narbonne. The All Blacks said on Twitter they are shocked and saddened by the news. The tough tackling blindside flanker was described as the Joe Nolamu of the Fords by World Cup winning England scrum half Matt Dawson. Wales and Osprey scrum half Reese Webb said it was devastating news to hear of the death of a true rugby legend. Rodney Sooyello, who played at number 8 alongside Collins for the All Blacks, tweeted, Very sad day to hear a teammate, and our very good friend Jerry Collins has passed. England's 2003 World Cup winning winger Ben Cohen tweeted, So so sad. Can't believe that Jerry Collins and partner Elena died in car crash in France, RIP. Collins started his career at Wellington in the National Provincial Championship and also played for the city's super rugby outfit Hurricanes. Renowned for his bleach blonde hair and tough tackling, he made his All Blacks debut against Argentina in Christchurch in 2001. He captained the side three times and played for New Zealand at the 2003 and 2007 World Cups. His last match for the All Blacks was the 2007 World Cup quarterfinal loss to France in Cardiff. Later that year, Collins famously turned out for Barnstable's second 15 side against Newton Ebbett while on holiday in Devon. He announced his international retirement in 2008 and went on to join French top 14 side Toulon before moving to Wales to play for Ospreys in 2009. The Samoa-born back rower spent two years in Japan playing for Yamaha Jubilo, from 2011 to 2013, before joining French second-tier side Narbonne in January 2015. I spoke with Rocky Elsom, the Australian manager of Narbonne, and he was clearly still in shock at the news, Radio New Zealand news editor Tony Vale told BBC Radio 5 Live.